hey, you can fix your slice with your driver fast, but you're gonna have to recognize and understand some simple truths first. Let's talk about them right after this. Hey, this is Steve from hititlonger.com. If you get some value out of this video, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Okay, the first fundamental truth you've got to understand about the driver and why you slice it so bad is because a driver by far has the smallest amount of loft. So it's very hard to slice a nine iron because a nine iron doesn't swing as fast. Speed is also another consideration. A driver swings faster and since it's got such a straight face, it has the potential to curve a lot more if you create those conditions. So that's first. Now the second thing that's important to understand is that a slice is mostly because of the club face. It's almost never because of the path, although so many instructors in so many videos would like you to believe this. So they're gonna tell you, drop your foot back, do this, do that, to fix the path, but since over 80% of the influence of where your ball is going to go and how it's going to curve is the orientation of the face at impact and less than 20% is the path, it's much more important to work on the face than work on the path. If the face is open at impact, which most slicers it is, it doesn't really matter if you swing outside in or straight or even inside to out, if that face is open, the ball is gonna go right. We've gotta make the face get square or even a tad closed if we're gonna make the ball draw or go down the left half of the fairway. Now I've taught many, many golfers who were slicers when I first met them, and not that many of them swing really radically out to in, only maybe a third of them. A lot of them either swung ever so slightly outside in, and a lot of them, probably a third of them, actually swing with a straight path and just leave the face open, and that's how they sliced it. So don't worry as much about your path unless you start squaring the face and it's pulling. So this just further emphasizes that path is not necessarily your number one issue. We've got to figure out how to get the face to square up to the target line or the center of the fairway instead of being open. Now here's a couple of simple ideas you can try that will help you get the face square. Number one, make sure that your grip is not at 12 o'clock and in the palm, but make sure your left hand is turned over far enough where you can see the logo on your golf glove. The thumb will be at around one o'clock and you're gonna have a tight crease between the thumb and the rest of the hand. So it'll look something like this. This will help you rotate the forearm and square up the club face. The second thing we need to do is give permission, which a lot of golfers who slice do not do this. You've got to give permission for the club head to pass the hands freely. A lot of people will squeeze at the last minute and they'll stop the progress of the club head, leaving the face open. Other people will pull the handle into it, trying to get strength the ball out there. And again, that leaves the face open. So instead, if you can tell yourself to throw the club head with the wrist freely past, like you're throwing what they'd say in baseball, throwing the bat head out in front, watch what happens if I do this early enough there's a closed face, I will draw the ball. If I am late throwing like this, the face will be open and I will slice the ball. So we're looking for softer hands, good grip, throw the club head, pass the hands, make it swoosh just like that. Try to start that activity way back here. Do these things can really get the ball to curve for you, just like this. If you can do those things, I think you're going to be able to be successful squaring the club face, getting rid of at least some of your slice, turning it maybe into a little baby fade, maybe turning it into a draw. 
Give these tips a chance, understand these truths, and I think you'll be on your way. Thanks so much for watching. Would you help me get to 100,000 subscribers by hitting that button down there? And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.